<laughs> I want to talk about a piece of gear that uh, is often overlooked. Uh, at least I don't see people talking about it very often. Um, van lifers in particular. When I see people go through their van, they talk about all the stuff they have to keep them warm and you know basic tools and solar and all that stuff and that's great. I learn a lot from it. I spend a lot of time watching those van videos as do you. <laughs> but the one thing I don't see people talking about very often that I find I need pretty frequently is a sewing kit. You know, when I went to boot camp at Paris Island, that's part of your gear. You get issued a sewing kit. I'm always losing buttons. On this trip where I was just three months on the road, I lost three buttons. I didn't lose them. They fell off and I was able to sew them back on. Unfortunately, what pissed me off and the reason I'm doing this is that I didn't have a sewing kit with me which is very annoying to me because I'm one of those guys who prides himself on always being prepared for just about anything and uh, didn't have a sewing kit with me. And I have sewing kits in my, all my bags, my go bags, uh, whatever, and I thought I had one and I didn't. So I went to a drugstore and you can fortunately still find them. Uh, they oftentimes come in some little plastic uh, container, which is fine, but it's not great in the van, it's not great in your backpack because it's going to break and you're going to get sewing needles and thread and buttons and everything else that comes in those kits all over the place. So yesterday I found this tin from a Zippo lighter and uh, I made a little sewing kit from a bunch of other sewing kits that I had including the one I just purchased and uh, I added a few extra things, just a few, to make this better and more applicable to being on the road, uh, camping, that sort of thing. Basic stuff here, right? So. One of the things I have, and I have had this for quite some time, and it's already come in handy, is more of a heavy duty, duty needle thing. It's got a hooked needles and whatnot, so this is good for furniture, fabric, canvas, even some thin leather. So something like that, that's important to have with you. I have a, a set of these shears here. They're well made. There's a company stamped on it that I can't read right now. You've seen these before. They cut thread real nice, used them yesterday. I've got some jute twine in here. I mainly put this in here uh, just to take up space so things wouldn't rattle around so much. I'm not going to actually sew with this, uh, but it helps with fire starting and whatnot. This is an important thing. A buddy of mine owns a bait and tackle shop and uh, he had some extra line. And this is braided line, fishing line. I think it's 60 pound test, heavy duty stuff. I got a good deal on a wetsuit vest when I was home uh, because the bottom hem of it where there's an elastic cord uh, had come unsewn. So I'm going to re-sew that with this stuff and one of these heavy duty needles. I've got some uh, decent quality polyester thread here. Strong, strong stuff. And then in this uh, ginger, gingerman's tin is a collection of different parts of sewing kits including the one I recently purchased on the road. So, and there's some other little things in here like buttons. You know, old shirts. When I wear out a shirt, uh, if I don't cut the sleeves off and wear it that way, <laughs> I cut it up, use it as rags, and I always cut the buttons off and I save them. So I've got this huge button collection now. And I use them. I've always used them. And I'm wearing this jacket because yesterday, after I made the sewing kit, I was like, what else can I do? And I took, uh, went through my leather jacket collection. And, uh, I mean, doesn't everybody have a leather jacket collection? <laughs> and I was oiling my jackets. I oiled two and a half. I didn't have enough to finish this one, but I oiled this one. And while I was going over this one, I realized I had forgotten that two of the pockets were blown out. And, you know, I got to use my sewing kit and uh, sew up this pocket. So now it's like new. And this pocket up here was blown out too. Leather jackets. I didn't think I was going to talk about it in this respect, but I might as well. Leather's an interesting thing, right? Man has been using leather for thousands of years to protect himself from weather, harsh environments, and even war. You know, thick leather armor had been around for a very long time. And uh, today we wear leather if we ride a motorcycle and that sort of thing. It will protect you. It can literally save your life. In one of my thicker Vanson jackets, if I zip that up, I can go into a knife fight with that. <laughs> I feel pretty safe. And when I was a kid, I did some hoodlum stuff. And whenever I did some hoodlum stuff, I always wore a leather jacket. In an urban environment, very important. Concrete, that sort of thing, you're going to be tumbling around on the, on the ground, uh, on concrete. 
you're protected. It's an extra layer of skin. I've gone down many times on motorcycles, always had a leather jacket on, and it always saved my ass. Well, my ass wasn't saved, but the rest of me was. <laughs> Matter of fact, this is the jacket I wore for about five years. I was pet pal with this guy here in uh, Los Angeles, uh, uh, urban street artist, goes by Sabo. And whenever it was a chilly night, this is the jacket I wore. This one in particular, because uh, it's one I don't care too much about. It's actually not a bad jacket. It's got some cool details to it. I like that western placket and the studs on the back. And, um, you know, it's, it's, not, it's a Brent. Nothing super special. But uh, climbing to billboards, climbing walls, concrete walls, whatever. I always wore this jacket zipped up, and it protected me plenty of times. So it's not a bad piece of survival gear, you know, when you think about it. Best windbreaker out there, too. And, you know, take care of your leather. I didn't want to go into this. I just want to talk about the sewing kit. So, sewing kit, part of your gear. Have one. It will come in handy. You may not need it very often, but when you do, you need it. So, get your sewing kit going. And be cool with one another. And uh, have a good day. Bye.